Hillary Clinton reportedly interrupting her summer vacation to get back on the campaign trail this week. She's expected to stump in Ohio and then attend a Democratic event in Minnesota. The Fox News political insiders are here, and you can join the conversation on our Fox News social media pages, Facebook and Twitter. Pat Cadell, a former pollster for President Jimmy Carter and Fox News contributor, here on set with me. John LeBoutlier, former Republican congressman for New York, and Doug Schoen, former pollster for President Bill Clinton and a Fox News contributor as well. Uh, Doug, I'm going to start with sure. you. So she's on the Hamptons, out in the Hamptons, rather, on Long Island. She's supposed to stay gone really not just this week but all into next week right. she cuts it short we're getting word that she'll be in ohio on right. wednesday what does this mean this means as we've seen in the fox news and other polls she is in trouble she's in trouble with the email scandal her numbers are dropping her trust ratings are very very low I think it's fair to say, and I suspect Pat and John would agree, that she is at an inflection point in the campaign with Joe Biden actively considering a candidacy, meeting with Elizabeth Warren surreptitiously, or hopefully surreptitiously for him, yesterday. She is nervous. John? Let me add that we have on Meet the Press today, Jer Governor Jerry Brown mm -hmm. being asked by Chuck Todd about it, and sort of in his own way, sort of saying, I'm enjoying watching the Clintons suffer. Don't forget he ran against them 23 years ago. What's happened, I think, in the Democratic Party is they see now what we've been saying on this show for months, which mm -hmm. is Hillary is in double trouble, legal trouble and political trouble, and they're feeding each other. The federal judge what is the political trouble? I think the legal trouble is with this, and, and I'm sure you saw our reporting tonight, possibly a second server that yeah. she would have. Oh, yeah. That's in, in a bathroom closet in Denver. Isn't this wonderful that a <laughs> secretary The first one was state, in Jersey, but go on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, but I think the, the, it's legal trouble for the email thing. It's political trouble because her numbers, as Pat has yeah. pointed out, are a metastasizing cancer in her base, which is why overall her numbers right. are declining. She's trailing in New Hampshire okay. and I, I, I want to get to some numbers and I want to discuss these with you, Pat. Uh, 2016 potential yep. presidential matchup. If it were Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, if he were to get the nomination on the GOP side, they're six points apart. We learned that this past week. But this is really interesting. What if Joe Biden were to face? Now, again, these are hypotheticals. But you know, based on people who say that, that they would vote, what would Joe Biden do to face Donald Trump at that matchup? Look how much tighter they are. Now, I know from experience that no candidate is ever any more popular than the day before they announce. However, what does this tell you? Well, it tells me that she's weakening. She's really weakening against the other candidates. Trump is the weakest candidate. I do have to say something about the CNN poll. They have no one decide. It's basically two, three, and four. I have not figured out how they are managing to do that with a population where at least a fifth or a fourth or more of voters are basically undecided. But the margins hmm. are telling, and they're telling because they're coming down. And Biden is running as well or better than she is against the field. And this is the presumptive nominee. And uh, Biden has not been running that way in the past. And even Bernie Sanders is running well. This tells you that she is weakening in, as a general election candidate. The minute the Democratic Party realizes that she looks like a loser in November, the whole thing, the thing is going to explode. Harris, I think that the, the poll that rocked the Democrats more was the Quinnipiac poll that came out Thursday or Friday mm -hmm. in three states, Florida, Ohio, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Hillary was losing to most of the Republicans in the three states, and Doug and Pat know this better than I ever would. Her numbers were like 44, 43. She should be, she's like an incumbent, right? She should be close to 50 with 100% name ID. The, the real telling number was Pennsylvania, where if That's memory a Democratic serves, state. Democratic state, where she was trailing a number of the Republicans. What this is leading Democrats to do, Harris, in one word, panic. They are looking for alternatives. Now, in the Democratic primary, Joe Biden is actually trailing Hillary badly. He needs to jumpstart his campaign. That's why, why is that? Is that just because he's not in yet? He's not in, but also the Obama administration, and Joe Biden in particular, is not that popular. He is an alternative to Hillary if she collapses. The left wing of the party is with Sanders. Her base is still solidly with her, hence right. Elizabeth Warren. Let me go to Twitter. DJAD says, 
Harris for the panel. The conversation is interesting, but does anybody really believe Hillary Clinton will not be the candidate? I do. I, I'm telling you, I've said it on this show. She will not be the Democratic nominee. And I think you can see the trajectory. We're in August, my God. And she's but, dropping well, into the low the 40s. previous August. But, yeah, we're in yeah, August yeah, yeah, of yeah. 2015. Yeah, we're but, six months from New Hampshire. But, but hold it. Look, don't you think, Pat, that with oh. her having been allowed to have had a private email server by State Department rules, no, she not having said sent classified emails, Doug, not received them. Doug? Don't you think she has a good defense, Pat? Oh, it's just fantastic. And, uh, and, and I'll tell you, Doug, I just can't believe you would say that. But it's just fantastic. You guys are and so the little sarcastic. minions that were on today, including the former congressman uh, 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 from California, Congresswoman. Yeah. Wasn't Tasher. she compelling? They were unbelievable. <laughs> hey, folks, I have news. This is unbelievable stuff. Just, you can't make it up. You can't say there was no classified documents when we have one already from, from Cheryl Mills marked or from Uma, or, uh, Uma Amadi marked B1 at the bottom, which is a classification category, or the 15 emails that, that were from Sidney Blumenthal that he turned over to the committee that she has never found. Come on, folks. It's not going to hold up. And I will tell you this. Listening to people, listening to people say that she is, is still going to win reminds me of Lyndon Johnson in 67. It doesn't matter. You can't stop an incumbent president. All right.